What exactly are you up to? Wow, two of you? Jamie, what are you doing here? She didn't tell me about you either, okay? But I'm open to a three-way. I like it. Scanners, cameras, our choice of beds. We can be as loud as we want. Courtney, what's going on? I asked him to help Tim. He probably misinterpreted. Wait, we're not going to get it on? What are you talking about? I needed both of your help. These are the post-mortem brain scans of all the patients that have died in this hospital. I've been searching for the region of the brain that is responsible for generating the so-called near-death experience. Is there any circumstance under which you'd have sex with me? The near-death experience is similar across all the cultures, right? White light, floating up, the overall powerful sensation of well-being. Okay, it's the same story that comes back over and over again. So, therefore, ergo, there has to be this compound, right? A chemical, a protein that's responsible for it. Uh, something that transitions us from life to whatever happens next. What do you mean, what comes next? We're dead, nothing comes next. Look, it's the last sensation that the brain provides us, okay? If we can spot that protein, um, isolate it, analyze it... Then you'll make quite a name for yourself. The goal is to understand what happens to us chemically. Okay, you heard Wolfson. Okay, we're here to tackle big challenges, not just rubber stamp our diplomas. See, this is what I was talking about earlier. Medical knowledge has always gone dark at the moment of death, right? The brightest minds just throw up their hands, admit their ignorance and helplessness, but we, it doesn't have to be that way. Okay, we can push back against it, lift the veil for seconds, even minutes, to see what's there. So you think there's some protein hiding in the brain that no one else has discovered? We can't know for sure until we see what's going on in the brain at the exact moment of death. So, I'd like for you two to stop my heart. I'll be in the imaging scanner. We'll get real-time pictures of whatever my brain's neurochemical activity at that time. And give it a minute or two, then bring me back. Stop your heart. You're serious. This is a focal fall. 50 cc's will knock me out. I'll be wrapped in a cooling blanket, which will bring down my body temperature to 86 degrees. Once that happens, I want you guys to administer the defibrillator, the shock that's going to stop my heart. I've signed a release. It's there on the table. It absolves both of you from any responsibility. Courtney, think about what you're saying. Hey, if she's insane enough to try it, who are we to stop her? I'm young, <laughs> right? I, I'm in excellent health. You two are trained in emergency medicine. It should, it should be pretty straightforward reviving me. It's now 1218. I've checked the schedule for the security patrols and the cleaning crews down here. We should have the next 45 minutes to ourselves. Let's get started.